Hello, my name is Larry Merck. I'm the GIMP Wizard. Today we're going to be drawing the NBC logo quickly. It should only take a few minutes. And uh, it's got the lovely peacock, so it should be a great image. We're going to start by drawing a grid so that we'll be able to draw everything a little bit more easily. And we're going to configure the grid. And we're going to use purple lines, and I made them 50 by 50 spacing. And then all we have to do is say view show grid and then we'll do view and snap to grid and we should be good to go alright we're going to snap to grid here and we're going to start by drawing a circle and in the circle I'm going to put up 3 and over 4 so we're going to start out at 200 comma 750 and then we're going to make it 5 grids big 250 by 250 and now we're gonna fill everything in with black so we'll fill that in with black and now let's draw some lines and let's see what brush we got we're gonna have to pick out just the dot brush and for the tool options we'll just make it the default one pixel and then we're going to draw a line, I'm going to go control A to select all now the line we're going to want to start down here and I'm going to hold down the shift so that we make a straight line and two, three, four, five, six we're going to go to seven, an x value of 750 and then we hold down the shift key and we'll try to connect up to the circle and make it as straight as possible and now if I do U to do a fuzzy select and we'll select everything but what we want and then I can go control I to invert our selection and now if we paint the black we should be able to fill in our selection very nicely so now that we've got that selected I'm going to say control C to copy it and control V to paste a copy of it and now that new copy what I'm going to want to do is rotate at 33 degrees so we'll click rotate we'll grab it and we'll say that we want to rotate it but we've got to change this to 33 degrees let's just make sure it's right 33 degree rotation so we say rotate is okay and then you know what I'm going to do too I don't really want to be locked into those grid lines right now so I'm going to unclick the snap to grid and I'm going to do M for move so now we're going to grab this and we're going to want to put it up a little bit and space that just a little bit something like oops I had it pretty good I should just clicked where I had it um, alright let's try that out alright so now we've got that one I can just click to anchor that into position and then we'll go control V to paste one more and then we're going to rotate this also so we're going to click here to rotate and this one we're going to rotate 66 degrees make sure we've got it set right and say rotate and then we'll do M to go back to moving it and now we'll try to put this into the right spot somewhere just leaving a nice gap in between them that should hopefully be about the same as the gap we left with all the other ones. Alright, let's try that out and then I'm gonna just click anywhere to lock that in to anchor it down. Now if we go to our layers we're going to duplicate this layer and now since we've got duplicated I can just flip this one over and now I do believe if we use the correct alright not screen if we can 
say dark and only, that would probably work pretty well in this case. And then we'll just merge it down. We'll have everything in one layer, and it should look very nice. We'll just do merge down. All right, you know what? I think I do want a white layer, though, underneath everything. So I'm going to add another layer called back, which is going to be the background. And we'll use a down arrow to move that down. And I'm just going to drag the white to that. Okay, so now I've got a white background, and then we've got our black uh, peacock feathers and all. Um, we do want to do the beak, so maybe we could do that now. Let's first of all, I guess, maybe just uh, select all this white. To We're going to do fuzzy select, click on this, hopefully uh, get all the white if we're got to be on the right layer here. So now we selected all the white and I'm just going to do delete. So, all right, so now we should just have our black here. Now I'm going to select a square to try to make our beak. Let's put the beak right about. Let's, um, I'm going to do our snap to grid once again. So we go view and go back to snap to grid. So now I can just start at an exact spot, the 800, 150. And then I think the beak is not terribly big, so we'll just make it that big. But then we're going to have to cut a circle out from it. So we're going to go tool options and have it subtract the circle from this. So we're going to start the circle out at the same spot, but we're going to drag it way down to cut it out. Okay, and then if we drag white, well, let's see. Well, basically we just want to do delete. If I just uh, click the delete key, we should be able to delete that. All right, that's what we wanted. So there we go. Now I've got the peacock's beak there, and we're looking good. So next thing we might want to do is color in all of our peacock feathers. This should be pretty easy. All we're going to do is grab a color, like we're going to start with red. And... Then I guess we would go U to do... Let's see, if we want to go to the correct layer, hopefully. Make sure we're on this layer. And then we can type U to do fuzzy select. And then we could check our bucket tool. And just make sure that we're filling in the correct thing. And so there we've got red, and then we can simply go through the colors of the rainbow pretty much. We go to orange and we say OK. And then we'll do fuzzy select. And actually I guess we don't even need to do the fuzzy select if we're the way we've got it right now. We just, we just told it to fill similar colors. So I think uh, we won't even do fuzzy select in the future, just to make this go a little bit faster. So we're going to go here and we're going to choose yellow next. Okay. And then go control all. Alright, we've still got the bucket tool, so we could just pour in the yellow. And then we've got green next, so we would just go to green. We've still got our bucket fill, we can just pour that in. And then blue, we'll try to grab a medium blue. Fill that right in. And then the purple, we can take the magenta, but then go with a deeper purple for the NBC logo. All right, so now we've more or less got the colored feathers in. But what I'd like to do is make a silver type of background. 
So what I'm going to do in order to get that, let's put the silver color here so when we want to use it will be available. But we're going to go to our layer. And now I use Alt A to do alpha to selection, but you could right click on the layer and find the alpha to selection. So we're going to grab this and then now I'm going to add in a rectangle to this selection because you'll see what I want to do. Um, so we want to add it so we can do this. So I'm going to basically add a rectangle, something like that, doesn't really matter. So now that's part of the selection also because now what I'm going to do is do the selection and I'm going to grow the selection by 20 or something like that. So we'll get a nice silver border all the way around this. And now if we do layers, we're going to make a new layer here. And it's going to be new layer and this could be silver. And then it'll be very easy. We'll just drag the silver into there. All right, let me just resize it by clicking. Let's see, if we do view and we want to do zoom and now say fit to window just so we can see what's going on a little bit better. All right, so now we've more or less got what we wanted there. Um, but a couple more fun things we can do. For the peacock colored feathers, I'd like to make it a little more three dimensional. And there's some script foo layer effects that we can do. And if you don't have this, you can go to the GIMP resources and just load the layers. And here we're going to do the beveling and embossing. And if we just switch this to an inner bevel, then we're pretty much just going to go with all the defaults that it already has. So we'll just click OK and this will give it a little bit of a three-dimensional look. And so I'm just going to merge each of these changes down. We'll merge down so we'll just don't end up having a ton of layers here. Merge those layers down. And I would say with this silver background, we'll do the same thing to give it a nice look. So we'll go once again just to script foo, layer effect, and bevel and emboss. And we're doing exactly the same thing, the inner bevel, so we just say OK. And then I'm going to merge these down once again just so we don't end up with too many layers for no reason. Merge down, and we'll just merge this down. Okay, now what I'd also like to do is make some black edging around things I think will make it a little bit better. So we'll take this layer and I'm going to do Alt A to select the alpha, alpha to selection. Now I'm going to throw another layer in between here. We're just going to make a new layer, not worry about what we call it. And now I'm going to grow this selection, select grow, and we're just going to grow this by three. Well, maybe we'll do five, so it shows up a little bit better. So I'll say OK. And then all we have to do is drag some black into that. And there we get a nice edge there. And I'm going to do a similar thing around our silver. So I'm going to do Alt A against, once again, to do alpha to selection. I'm going to throw in another layer underneath it. And this time I'm going to grow up by 10. So do selection, grow, and I'm going to do it by 10 to make it show up a little bit better. And we're going to drag the black out here. Great. And then I'm going to go control A to select all so we can see how we're doing. And we're going to go down here and I want to put in a little bit of text so we can write down NBC network. Let's make sure our text options are all the way we want them. I'm going to write it in bold lettering and I'm going to make it a hundred big and then we'll center it and then we'll take a shot and see if I can get this uh, but the odds are I'll probably have to move it a little bit so it writes it in the exact right spot but at least we should have it pretty well centered here so we'll go NBC Network 
and then if we go to our move tool we we'll probably want to grab it and just drag it down a little bit so that it looks like it's spaced nicely like that that looks pretty good and now if we take a look at our layers I think this normally is pretty much how NVC has their logo but of course I have to try to make it look a little cooler so the background I'm gonna just throw in a nice blend tool and uh, just to make it look a little bit funky we're gonna do a radial blur and I'm gonna do the offset about 50% because I want it to have a lot more white than black so we're gonna start out in the center here pretty much and we're gonna drag out toward the edge and there we go we've pretty much got our nice NBC logo and it's nice and colorful I think it came out pretty nicely hope you enjoyed the video please share with your friends and subscribe and anytime you want to see any of my images just go to larrymerk.deviantart.com I hope you had fun and we'll see you in future videos goodbye